All right, Mr. Telethro TV, how's everybody doing out there? Just wanted to put this out there for those who don't know. We're a day or so away from the third round of the NBA playoffs starting up. We're in the conference finals. And I don't know if you know this or not. Kevin Durant will not start this series for the Golden State Warriors. It is official via head coach Steve Kerr. Kevin Durant has officially been ruled out of game one versus the Portland Trailblazers. Now, for the Warriors, they have the number one seed, so they will be at home for game one. But nevertheless, they will be without a guy who's averaging, what, 34 points throughout the first two rounds of the playoffs. As we all know, Kevin Durant injured his calf in game five at home versus the Houston Rockets. He did not play in game six, but Steph Curry and Klay Thompson took care of business, eliminated the Rockets, and now we're looking up at this Portland Trailblazer series. If you're like me, you're thinking, Obviously, the Warriors are the clear favorite to win this series. But, 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 if we're talking two games without Kevin Durant, now you're asking me to say, okay, I know the Warriors are the favorite, but do I think they're the favorite to the point where if if I don't have KD for two games, would I still pick them? Like, how many games favorite do you believe the Warriors are in this series? And I do believe they're two games favorite over, over the Portland Trailblazers. I like Portland. I'm going to be honest with you. This could be as competitive a four-game sweep as possible. With Kevin Durant out of the lineup, I think worst case, the Warriors go six games. Even with all that being said, I don't think this is a seven-game series. I'll get into my prediction tomorrow, but I will say this. It becomes a, a, a very interesting series without KD not there for game one. And I'm being told he'll likely miss game two as well. KD will not be there on the basketball court for game one and probably not game two. At the earliest, Kevin Durant will probably play in Portland game three. But according to Steve Kerr, as of right now, Kevin Durant is not doing any basketball-related activities with that calf injury. He's not doing anything right now. So to think that he'll be ready to play by game two, if he's 100% ruled out for game one, not even giving it a go and looking, you know, being questionable up into tip-off, that probably tells me he's not going to play in game two. And there is a small chance out there that Kevin Durant is not available for the Warriors at all in this round. I know he'll be ready for the finals. I'm pretty confident he'll be back at some point in this series. I'm just throwing it out there. There's a decent chance the Warriors are going to have to play a significant amount of time without KD in this series. And even then, I still think they're the favorites. The Warriors didn't beat the Portland Trailblazers without KD before. But I definitely think it makes it all the more interesting. CJ McCullough was playing the best basketball of his life. Damian Lillard in the first round was playing some of his best basketball. Not so much in the second round there against Denver. We'll see what Damian Lillard we get. He'll have Klay Thompson and or uh, Steph Curry on him a lot. That's an interesting matchup. Without Dr without Kevin Durant out there, think about it like this. Either the Warriors are going to have to put Iguodala on Damian Lillard or Klay Thompson on Damian Lillard. Either way, Steph Curry is the X factor defensively, right? Like CJ McCollum. Well, either he'll be guarded by Steph, Iguodala, Clay. Depending on how the Warriors shake this thing, I think it's a very interesting series with Kevin Durant missing game one, and, and most likely he's out for game two as well. Highly unlikely he plays in game two. Definitely already ruled out for game one. I'll give you guys my prediction on this series tomorrow and more. I thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.